Most people think dementia is a condition where older people become more and more forgetful. But dementia is far more complicated than that, with many dementia subtypes affecting skills beyond memory and occurring in people as young as 50 years of age. My name is David Fox, and for the past 10 years, I have been committed to understanding very rare dementias that affect speech and language and occur in people between the ages of 50 to 75. These dementias are called primary progressive aphasia. Primary progressive aphasia, or PPA, is caused by a progressive loss of nerve cells in the brain's language networks. Many people think PPA is one syndrome, but there are actually three variants. These variants vary quite a lot in terms of their language profiles, prognosis, patterns of brain atrophy, and underlying brain pathology. It's really important that PPA patients receive the correct diagnosis as this will ensure that they receive the right treatments and care services. But many patients are misdiagnosed in general clinic settings as the language profiles are often complex, overlapping, or difficult to detect without specialised tests. With over 10 years of neuropsychological experience in PPA, I have found that relatively brief cognitive testing can improve the diagnostic accuracy of these variants. This knowledge has led me to embark on a PhD at the University of Sydney to determine which cognitive tests are the most effective at characterising PPA. Over the last three years, I have found that cognitive difficulties in PPA extend beyond language and that tests of attention and visuospatial abilities are excellent at teasing apart the PPA variants. I have found that these unique cognitive difficulties can impact daily living skills in different ways. This is quite important as it means the care services that these patients need vary according to their diagnosis. I'm excited by my findings as I truly believe that my research is helping us better understand the cognitive architecture of PPA and is improving the clinical care that PPA patients deserve.